Logan with Adventure Rigs. Uh, right now I'm getting all my camping gear out and checking on it and I'm gonna walk you through what I have. So, all right, stay tuned. So, this is my tent. I'll start over here since it's assembled. Uh, I just got it out this morning, well, lunchtime. Swept it out, vacuumed it out. Uh, it had some mud in, it, mud in it from a few years ago, but all in all, it was pretty good shape. I got, see this one has this rain guard, which I think most of them are like this, but I don't use them a whole lot. So I've had this for 10 years almost. I'm pretty sure, yeah, pretty close to 10 years and I've used it maybe 10 times. I guess that's okay. Not all at once. Uh, I also scotch guarded the rain guard here. Just to give it a little bit more protection. Went along the seams first. Then I did almost all the sides. So, and here I have a tie down to anchor it out like that. Uh, got my little anchor bag. My mom made that for me. Uh, and it goes over here in this black and yellow, yellow uh, action packer. I've also got some other stuff in there. But uh, gonna go over just basically, you know, what I have in my camp box. One second. All the way so I can put it aside. I have a butane stove. Actually, I have like a half a dozen fucking stoves. It's upside down. So, butane stove it takes one of these. There's the sun. Uh, little butane packages, cartridges. Goes into here. I've never used it. I haven't done much camping since I got it, but my dad loves it. And it's compact. I also have this little single burner stove that mounts on one of these little bitty uh, propane tanks. And these come in propane, butane, methane, I think. It has its own little baggie. And this is pretty, pretty nice, but it's not for like really, you can use it all weekend, but I have used it mostly, I got trapped in a winter storm my camper and I use that to warm up my food. So these are the two I have here. I have another one. Actually I have a grill, a propane grill that runs off the one pound bottles. But uh I don't use it much just because it's kind of big. The but after that I also have an old 1950s, 60s, 70s Coleman originally kerosene but I've converted it to propane uh, cooker, the old green ones. And I don't use it much because once again, it's huge, but I don't do a lot of camping. So that's my stove. These are our heaters, our propane heaters. We use propane a lot because it's, it's fairly safe traveling around with it. <laughs> Sorry. We've had kerosene lanterns uh, and heaters, but We've used propane. These are both Mr. Buddies. This is a little buddy. This is a portable buddy. These are 100% worth the price. Uh, I used to carry this with me and sit in a, the deer blind with it. And I'd have to turn it off quite often. This was kick ass as well. Uh, this, is this is my dad's, but I can use it sometimes. But that one works really well it heats it up the your environment pretty well so i use this one whenever i was in that ice storm i talked about earlier to heat up my uh camper at that time which was like a six by eight camper i know not very big but it after about 20 minutes uh is when i shut it off but the, it warmed it up enough i was able to sleep in it all night until some other small things happen. So I agree with, I think you should have these. Uh, 
but don't discount the little electric uh, heaters. My dad is going to start because these put off methane and all that other stuff, all the bad gases. So you got to be careful with them. You can't run them all night and you can cook on them. You can full on cook on them. They, they get that hot. So be a little careful. These, I only take these for winter camping and it's never really that much. And so that's what we do for heaters. We're pretty comfortable with Mr. Buddy. So good. Sorry, gonna go over, I guess some fire start things. Uh, I gotta make a trip to Academy anyways to get some supplies, so. And I got my battery powered lantern, you always need one. Uh, we have some propane lanterns around here somewhere, I'm not sure where they went. We don't use them very much, they just burn a lot of propane. But they're nice to have because they do put off pretty decent heat. Uh, for fire, I've got sterno pack sterno yeah basically which is just basically like a gel, a gel oil kind of thing so it'll burn for hours i mean burns for 45 per, 45 minutes per can both of those do so i think they are both sterno these are really nice because you don't have to do anything they'll burn by themselves uh if you are needing a heater and you don't have a heater like you get stuck in an ice storm but you don't actually have a heater with you if you have a couple of these you get some rocks and bricks and create a little oven heater that will warm up your entire room so this is a little interesting i got this from a bespoke box it's a pool start fire i mean you can see the back i've never used one my dad uses them has used them but so i can't wait to try that i have a magnesium fire starter in the truck but i've used it and it's a pain i'm going to get some matches along with some depending on if i have but get some uh what do you call it uh you know a uh, lighter basically so mm -hmm. kind of looks overwhelming because i have way too much stuff but uh yeah. All right. So, guess I'll start with all my blue enamel stuff. So as you can see, I've got three three plates. They're somewhat small, but they're pretty nice. Four coffee cups, despite the fact I don't drink coffee. Two bowls, another stainless steel cup, and a couple of these little cookers. Problem with these little cookers: the small one doesn't won't stand up on its own. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, Oh, wait, no. Yeah, when it gets on a flat surface, it's hard to stay up on its side, so that will probably get put aside. Might use it at the house, but I don't really, I'm not really going to use these for now, I don't think. Uh, those are going to get set aside, so I won't be using those. I'm going to do that right now, so I stop talking about them. But, uh, yeah. And I'm going to keep two coffee cups both the bowls and all three of the plates these other coffee cups i'm going to put aside because i will probably use them eventually at least in my own house uh just because i don't want to spend money you'll be shocked that i didn't spend any money on any of this none of this i bought myself other than a few small things i mean i have like five dollars in this whole kit all right so <coughs> sorry uh, got a couple big knives, carving knife. They're cheap. I have a whole box full of them in my room. Uh, fillet knife, gotta have. Bag clips, gotta have. I keep a belt in there just in case. Vinyl gloves, just in case. Dog toy for Sal. That was for my four-wheeler, but I don't have it. A cheesecake knife for some reason, because my dad gave it to me. Uh, spatula, gotta have. Uh, dang, I am, ah, sorry. Tongs, I'm so sorry, I just went blank on that. Got tongs there, can opener, which is a must. Uh, I have a couple tape measures, which is a good idea to keep. I don't need three of them though, so. 
Uh, I've also got a few spare batteries, a couple of nine volts, and uh, ooh, that one's bad. So you can see that one went bad. The other one's probably not much better, but we'll, I don't know. Uh, I've got another can opener, kind of a sucky one, but indestructible. And bottle opener slash can opener, another bottle opener slash can opener. Uh, spoons and a couple forks these are all from our old silverware kit that I kept for this reason I gotta wash all of them another can opener slash this one will stay in there tap boy the, I, we've had this one forever so my grandma has one too ah oh, I think I have the fork and the uh, knife for this somewhere I gotta sorry about that I, did... I finally found the spoon and I have the knife in the fork somewhere i just cannot remember where it is so, cheap measuring cups need to wash this this is a broiling pan that i don't use so it won't get used so it's going to get washed and set aside until i move into my house uh, as is with most of these spoons and shit I'll go through all this. I'm gonna keep a third of, I'm only one person, so I don't need a whole lot. Uh, that's basically it. All you need is a couple, I'd say one big knife, and I've got three. Uh, I'm gonna keep two of them in there. Probably this one, a Maxim steel. I don't know. Feels kind of sharp, but I'm gonna keep this other one. They got good handles. This big one, sucky handle. Uh, this is my little aluminum cooker. Actually, it's a Boy Scout kit, but I'm missing my plate. I'll have to talk to my dad about it. Uh, he's probably the only other person who has it. I don't use this much. It's just, I've had this until like three. My dad got it for me, but it's aluminum cooks, cook set. Comes with this little pan, a plate, and this thing that you can keep it all together, so. It's not going with me. I don't need it. It's kind of a pain to put on. So, so this is aluminum measuring cup I got from my neighbors where I got a lot of things from. Uh, I got almost the, all of that enamel, enamel down there I got. So this I always keep with me just in case. So uh, old school camp camp coffee maker awesome it was my dad he's used it forever oh. God, sorry there we go got the filter and all that it's still complete perfect size this always goes with okay fly that's bugging me sorry uh i don't drink coffee but i do need uh if i need to be able to cook boil water i'm sorry this fly is kind of pissing me off so all right gotta have that it stays i'm gonna put it back here uh the little dutch oven i have i guess that's what it'd be called it's just kind of a big pot does lid fit yeah it does so this this and this piece here i all got from the side of the road and and then in a uh whatever you call it just sitting on the side of the road yes i stopped and picked it up picked them up so came with another pan that i used and immediately said it was shit so i threw it away but this one a good generic uh pot been burned up pretty good you can see it originally had non the non-stick on the outside or whatever that was so this fan i've never used it uh so yeah and this dutch oven one of these two saucepans will be going with me probably uh 
they might not i might use my little my medium sized galvanized one so i go and consult with my dad he has more experience in this than i do so this won't i don't need this future house thing that's exactly what it is it's a future house thing. you'll find out a lot of this kind of is uh so i'm trying to trim down on my uh what what how many boxes i carry i need one tupperware not tupperware one action packer full that has my tent and in that action packer it has my uh air mattress that's i think full a full size air mattress both go in there and then that box there will be my camp box always have to have a cast iron skillet and this is a perfect size i think i need to clean it quite obviously but yeah this is a perfect size i have a random lid Ugh. i use this to feed sal a lot i won't be doing that in the future you wash that off uh but like if i need to i can put it over there over one of the other pans so this actually stays never know when you need something like this i have a bluetooth speaker which always is a must big thermos but i don't really drink coffee so don't ever use it so it's getting set aside but it was my pawpaws so uh i have paper plates i'm not going to use them because i have the enamel ones so i have a couple of these mac and cheese and scrambled eggs with bacon pre-cooked uh survivor adventure packs those are pretty cool i've never ate out of one yet so i'm gonna take those two have breakfast and gonna have that along with a steak uh, basically boil water and pour them in there so that's pretty good this is a cast iron I'm not sure what what it's called actually. Uh, griddle. It's a griddle, cast iron griddle. See, this one has both a flat surface and a raised surface. This is one my dad gave me. I have another one my dad gave me. Uh, probably gonna keep this one, and that one's gonna go in the future house bin, which I'm, I think I gotta pick that up. Gotta buy one of those, so uh, a bin for that. This will always go with as well, so. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, uh, always got to have an ice chest. I have a lifetime ice chest, but it's disappointed me by one of those lifetime, uh, real thick roto molded looking ice chest, but the lid is warped on it to where it doesn't uh, keep ice at all. So I want to get with lifetime and see if I can get a new one, I think. But this is my Coleman still belted love these things they're almost as good as high dollar roto molded and they're only around 100 bucks so that's about it uh i will i'll do a little short video uh you don't need to know that but that's what i'm going to take to the with me camping for the foreseeable future if if i know five or six people are going to show up i might throw in the coffee mugs and everything uh so yep that's it